Hey bro Migos, how's it going? Welcome to the part 2.2 of the Fishing Mastery and in this part I will introduce you to the best and most efficient way of leveling fishing. This part of leveling fishing is very crucial for those who wanna chase the fishing artifact later because in this part you're gonna complete 90% of the requirements for the artifact as well as leveling fishing to 800. Note on the start though, you will need some amount of gold for this part. If you wanna do it completely free, you might wanna check out the, uh, the part 2.3 when it's out for those who are fancy saving up some time, do check 2.1 where I'm showing uh, you the easiest, fastest and the most expensive of them all way of leveling fishing. It requires 5 minutes for like, uh, and like uh, 10 to 50k gold, depends on the prices on your server and all, but more on that in that part. However, let's move on with this part. Uh, as I mentioned in the introduction in fishing part 1 in fishing mastery, you will have 3 rare baits that correspond to 3 rare fishes in each zone, including the ocean. Why the one ears? I'll explain later. That means that uh, in order to obtain all the fish, you'll need to obtain all the baits, which, ca uh, which can be very time consuming process. But good news, you can find uh, buy them off Auction House. So, also if you want to unlock 1 to 700 fishing without visiting trainer back and forth when you get like, uh, you know, uh, as I explained in the previous part, 2.1, basically when you get to point where, where you get 75 fishing, you cannot go more uh, until you go to trainer and, uh, you know, level up to the... To, uh, 150 and then we get to 150 you need to go back again to get to 225 to avoid all this stuff you know if you want to speed up the process a little bit what you can do it's when you you know level uh, level up fishing basically skill one you go uh to drain or uh throw the the bobble or something in couple uh pools in drain or in the watery areas just find some random water area and throw a couple uh pools there and you will actually get a book that will uh, train you the drain or fishing, uh, which will uh, allow you to get 1 to 700 without even going to trainer anymore. So that's a recommendation before you start with, the, uh, before you start with leveling and before you continue with all this stuff. Let's begin with the Legion of Fishing, shall we? For this uh, stuff, I recommend the add-on server hop to find pull easier and fish easier. We'll leave a link for download in the description uh, or in the forum link. You'll, you'll find it uh, down below the video. So just check that out. Uh, since I mentioned that you need some gold for this guy to make it most efficient, let's, let me explain why you are going to need the gold for. For those who are using TSM, I have made a shopping group uh, f with like buying and selling operation for the uh, baits that you will need to buy from Auction House, uh, as I mentioned before. Uh, you can find that, of course, in the forum link uh, in the description. Uh, for those without TSM, these are the items you'll need to buy off the Auction House and how to actually like use all this stuff uh, uh, to actually do this. So. Uh, the Azuna baits. Uh, the Azuna, uh, I, I fished in this area that you can see now on the screen. I've used the uh, server hop when I pull, uh, fish all the pools. I'm just server hopping and the new pools are uh, appearing. Uh, basically, uh, you will need three, uh, you know, three baits are for Azuna. The aromatic Merlo sl Merlock slime that will get you the Lay Shimmer uh, be uh, Benny, Blenny, whatever. Pearlescent con uh, Conch that will give you Nartalas Hermit. And Rusty Queenfish Brooch that will uh, allow you to see the uh, the ghostly Queenfish pools and uh, you can actually fish from those stuff. So how this uh, stuff works? When you get the rare baits uh, off Auction House and when you have them on the bags, you can only have one by the way. They're all unique pretty much. So uh, when you get them in the bags, you just go next to a fishing pool uh, in, in this corresponding zone and right click it. It will give you a buff that lasts a certain time. And uh, uh, while you have that buff, you are uh, basically allo uh, it, it allows you to catch that rare fish. Uh, you can also have like arcane lures because it will help in the process of getting like new baits when you uh, when you when you uh, get them off, like when you use them. Because later, if you don't get to 800 fishing just by doing all these requirements for bigger fish to fry, you might want to uh, have couple rare baits in your bags to actually fish up uh, and and level up fishing uh, easier. So uh, the Azuna baits. Uh, this is the Azuna place, and also. Um, I mean, for for Azuna, it's there is not really many pools that you, uh, they're like clumped up together. I couldn't find any zone. I, I tried running around. Maybe they were they were fished when I was trying to explore. I couldn't find any fish pools that are clumped up together. Usually, I found like two to three mechs in the same place. Uh, so basically, Azuna is kind of poor in fishing pools. However, you're gonna find uh, somewhere uh, on this location that I'm showing on the map now. Uh, ghostly queenfish, however, uh, the rusty queenfish brooch, it doesn't work same as the any rare bait. So if you are looking for like, if, if you just use that and just stay and just fish and fish and trying to get ghostly queenfish, you'll not be able to do that. However, when you get rusty queenfish brooch uh, and when you click it, it allows you to see the invisible fishing poles 
Uh, so, so you need to go and find those pools and fish in them and you'll get like ghosty queen fish, which is also a rare fish that is required for this achievement. Um, let's m move on to high mountain baits now. Uh, this is pretty simple, you know, it uh, works as every other bait. Uh, the uh, Salmon Lure will give you ancient high mountain salmon. Frostworm will give you cold, uh, cold river carp. Swore and Murloc Egg will give you Mountain Puffer. So that is the high mountain baits. I, I use this zone that I'm currently showing on the, on the map and on the screen for fishing and also for farming gold. I'll explain that in some uh, some some other videos. So, uh, Stormkind Baits, Silver Scale Minnow uh, will give you thunder, uh, Thundering Storm Ray. Ancient Will Kill Ring will give you the Odil Flirsk. And Soggy Drag Scale, Drake Scale will give you Grey Belly Lobster. So... Uh, I'm using the tri uh, you know, I'm using the Skyfire, blah, 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 something, the, the f uh, flight pad to get the Stormheim. And immediately next to the flight pad, you have a fish, couple of fishing poles, Storm Rays. You can, uh, you know, fish them up and, and, uh, and uh, use server hop and fish more and server hop and fish more and server hop and fish more. Until you get all the requirements for all these baits. Uh, I wanted to mention something though. Uh, before you use the baits, because it has limited duration, just scout around the scout, scout around the zone, uh, regardless where you know whether you're in High Mountain or Azuna or Storm Stormheim. You want to scout out the zone and try to see how many pools there are. You know, if you, if it has only like one pool, I would suggest with your first server hop find a server that has like three pools because in two minutes, uh, realistically, you can fish up up to three pools, not more than that. So you need to have like two or three pools to get the rare uh, the rare fish and also uh, you know to be safe. When you pop the baits, you don't uh, run out of fish pools and then it expires. You need to go buy a new one and stuff. It just complicates the stuff. So just scout around the zone and make sure that you have two pools at least before you uh, use your bait. Uh, the Valshara baits. Uh, Rotten fish bone will give you the ancient mosgill. Nightmare night crawler will give you the terror fin. And drowned thistle leaf will give you the torn flounder. The zone where I fished these stuffs, it's on the screen now uh, and also the map. All these baits in Valshara are pretty straightforward. Right click them, go and fish, and you get the fish. You cannot use two baits in the same time, so don't do mistake. You'll be like, hey, let's use three uh, at the same time and just get all the rare fish at, at one throw. That is not how it works. So just you need to use one by one, and also it's uh, more, yeah, you know, it's better to do it like that anyway. Uh, Suramar baits are the following ones Demonic Detrius will give you Tainted Rune Scale Koi. Sleeping Murloc will give you Sear Spine Puffer. This, however, you know from the previous video, you just use it, Murloc will spawn, will run around and will throw some fishes. You just need to follow him out and just uh, collect all the fishes that he throws. So don't throw it in the in the water because you'll find really hard time to actually see the fishes. So just find some zone where there is no, uh, you know, terrain that will, uh, that will basically fuck your vision up. Um, and also Enchanted Lure will give you Magic Eater Frog. So all this lure, uh, you know, as I said, all these baits are pretty straightforward. Uh, Suramar has a lot of pools, Suramar has a lot of places where you can farm, I mean, where you can actually fish. I'm using this zone or this zone for fishing in Suramar. You can, you know, fish whatever you want, but th those are my suggestions if you want to get, like, more pools in, in one place. Um, Alright, so let's go to the ocean baits. Uh, ocean bait, uh, let's just, you know, let's just clarify what's ocean mean here. Ocean means every water zone that is not, uh, you know, every, basically, every water area that doesn't have a fishing pole on it. So, if you go into Suramar and you, you fish in the water, if there is no pool that you're throwing your bobbler in, uh, basically that's considered as ocean. So, you can use any water that doesn't have a pool. Like, if you don't, you can fish next to the pool and that is ocean as well, you know. Even if it's pool is next to you, you can fish next to the pool and it's ocean. So, basically, ocean is considered any water zone that you're not, you know, fishing in a pool. So, Uh, that is how you can actually fish the X-Fish uh, with the X-Fish Lure. Uh, Ravenous Fly will give you Ancient Black Barracuda. For the last one, it's red because there is a reason for that. Why? Uh, Stunned Angry Shark, you cannot buy off the Ocean House, first of all, because it has one minute duration. So, for this, you're going to need Arcane Lure because Arcane Lure is a lure, that, I mean, is a buff that will allow you to get, actually get rare fish, uh, I mean, rare baits easier uh, or increases the chance of getting rare bait so basically 
If you want to get the stunned angry shark, I would suggest to get some arcane lure and fish in the ocean. When you get it, it's really crucial to be next to a land, you know. So that's why I'm suggesting you to go somewhere in like, uh, I don't know, like Suramar or somewhere where you have land. Because when you release the shark, it has one minute duration. So you catch it, you release it, and when you release it, you need to kill it. However, if it's in the water, it's very maneuverable. I don't know how can I say, you know, it maneuvers really fast. So it, it, you'll have a uh, hard time because it hurts, you know. It hits like truck. So if you're not tank, it will most likely two shot you. So... Uh, you wanna <clears throat> summon it on land because it, uh, it it has less speed and you wanna kite it around, don't stay in front of it, kill it, loot it, that's pretty much how you get sea bottom squid. Uh, so uh, that's the only tricky situation that you have here and you cannot really buy this and probably this is the most time consuming stuff out of them all. Probably it will take like 15 to 30 minutes to catch it if you have luck uh, less or if you have uh, lower luck more. However, that is how you get it. Uh, now, all of these baits will be at affordable price, probably like 200 to 500 gold. Some of them might be a, bit, a little bit more, like 1 to 5k, but I think the grand total will never exceed like 10 to 15k if, uh, if you're playing on a server with normal economy. For those uh, uh, who will be like pr highly overpriced, uh, you will have the option to either wait them to get cheaper, farm more gold and buy them anyway, or grab a cane lure from Ocean House and uh, basically... Uh, just fish them yourself, right? When you talk about this, actually, you know me, you know what, that I will always vote uh, for go and farm gold and buy it yourself. Why? Because usually in 30 minutes you will be getting uh, enough gold to buy three of the baits that you need, you know, unless it's like 20k gold on Auction House. That is like kind of extreme. But if we're talking about normal economy, they will not exceed 5k. However, if it's more than 5k or if it's even 5k and you think it's not really worth to spend your gold on, you can get arcane lore and fish in them yourself, but I would always uh, prefer to just go and farm gold and buy them off Ocean House because you never know, you know, you might get like three baits that you don't need and you will never get your bait that you actually need, you know, like if you're like me, so the RNG sometimes hates me, so yeah. Uh, anyway, just a quick explanation for those who are wondering why we need all these stuffs to level up fishing. First of all, rare fishes will give you five skill per fish when you throw them in the water and second, you will need to catch every rare fish in Legion and grab the achievement bigger fish to fry before you can get the artifact. That is a requirement. So we're trying to kill two fires with one bucket basically here. Level up fishing, get the requirement for fishing artifact and all happy. However, as I mentioned before, if you don't get by doing all this stuff, you don't, if you don't get like, uh, up to like five or 600, I mean to 800 fishing, if you get up to like 500 or 600 or 400, what you will need to do from that point on Get Arcane Lure, find your favorite zone. I would probably suggest you get, go to Suramar or go to High Mountain because those are the fish that actually sell the most. So if you fish something uh, with Arcane Lure, you have a high chance of actually getting the Arcane, um, uh, I mean the, the rare bait. And when you get uh, the rare bait, you basically just fish like, uh, uh, you, you fish a lot of rare fishes. And the rare fishes are the easiest way to actually get fishing up now because you throw them in the water, they give you five skill per fish. And pretty much that's how you actually finish your leveling for 800. So that was all for this guide, I believe, guys, because that's, uh, you know, that's the, the things that I wanted to cover. You know, how to get the, the bigger fish to fry, how to level up your, uh, you know, your, your fishing to 800. Hopefully that helped you guys. Hopefully that clarified the things that you need, uh, you know, for how to get fishing in a most efficient way. And uh, basically to get prepared for the artifact, which is coming like in uh, part three of this guide. I will explain you what's the easiest way of actually getting the artifact pretty much. So, thank you guys for watching. You've been so far amazing support. Thank you for all the comments as well. Uh, you know, cheering up for the for the guide and cheering up for all these projects and stuff of mine. And if you think that this deserves a like, feel free to like it. And of course, if you want to get notified uh, for the gold guides that are coming tomorrow, probably I'll uh, actually release really, really good gold guide for fishing or the next day after, but however, stay tuned guys, stay subscribed and you'll get notified because sometimes missing the information on time can be really crucial and it will be worthless when you get it, basically, if you're late. So, thank you again guys for watching, you've been amazing, uh, Rofist. Until the next time, stay cool guys, love you much, no homo, I've been Omer forever, bro, and until the next time, Omer off.